Thank you. So you guys talk a lot, including today, about how the border wouldn't be such a big deal if Congress would have just passed your immigration bill on day one. Who was in charge of Congress on day one? So it's been three years. It's been three, three whole years, more than three years, more than a thousand days. And look, this is a difficult issue, obviously. This is a difficult issue. And what we have said is that Congress has to act, right? Congress, Democrats, Republicans have to act. But in those three years, it is true that Republicans have gotten in the way. They just have, Peter. They have consistently used immigration, the immigration system, the broken system, as a political stunt. That's what they've done. They've gotten in the way in trying to get more Border Patrol agents. They've gotten in the way in actually trying to fix what's happening, the challenges at the border. They did. So I mean, they the voted. Democrats They've actually voted. The years, no response. It has. I'm not saying that Democrats have not been in control of the first two years. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying House Republicans have got in the way. They have. They have purposefully gotten in the way in trying to fix what's happening at the border. On Peter Ducey's questions, highlighting President Biden's concerns about his physical and mental health, reflecting public unease and the desire for confidence in his ability to perform his duties effectively. Corrine Jean-Pierre's response. I'm not going to go down that rabbit hole with you, sir, is seen as a strategic evasion, avoiding direct addressing of concerns. This tactic may be perceived as lacking in accountability and transparency. But the frequent mentions of the president's appearance in various contexts could be interpreted as an attempt to divert attention from specific incidents raised by Ducey and instead emphasize the broader scope of his public presence. 